Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of the selective estrogen receptor modulators, also called SERM. We have four drugs, tamoxifen, raloxifen, tormifen, and clomifen. Tamoxifen is the estrogen antagonist in breast, estrogen agonist in the uterus. So, the same drug is an antagonist as well as agonist to different organ. Adverse effects of tamoxifen include hot flashes, nausea, vomiting, menstrual irregularities, thrombosis, vaginal bleeding, endometrial hyperplasia and uterus may develop cancer okay there may be chance of uterine cancer therapeutic use palliative treatment for advanced hormone responsive breast cancer in post menopausal women it may be used as a prophylaxis for breast cancer in young women, but you have to make caution. This drug may cause congenital birth defect if the young lady is pregnant while she is taking tamoxifen to prevent breast cancer. So, prophylaxis of breast cancer in women who are at high risk prevent osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. How about Rolexifen? This is a second generation selective estrogen receptor modulator. It decreases bone resorption, increases bone density. It has little effect on the endometrium. So, chance of endometrial cancer, that is uterine cancer, is very rare. Decreases serum cholesterol and LDN, that is the low density lipoprotein, may increase the thromboembolic episode. Therapeutic use preventive treatment of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. This drug is not yet approved to treat breast cancer. Its use in the prevention of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. Then Tori Tormifen, this is a relatively new SCRM. This is a relatively new SCRM that is selective estrogen receptor modulator. Properties and adverse effects are similar to that of tamoxifen, but unlike tamoxifen, tormifen does not increase the risk of endometrial cancer. What is the therapeutic use of tormifen? It is treated in the management of metastatic breast cancer in postmenopausal women. Metastatic breast cancer means that the cancer has been spread throughout the body. It may go to the liver, cancer cell may go to the brain, may go to the vertebral column. So, it is used in metastatic breast cancer in postmenopausal women. How about clomiphene? That is also a selective estrogen receptor modulator. It is a partial estrogen agonist and reduces negative feedback of estrogen on the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. As a result, there is increased secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone from the anterior pituitary and stimulation for ovulation. Adverse effects include enlarged ovary, vasomotor flush and visual disturbance. Therapeutic use treatment of female infertility but we have some caution, must know that it may cause multiple pregnancy because it induces multiple ovum during ovulation in many cases.
but it is not effective in pituitary or ovarian or hypothalamic dysfunction. This drug may not be effective to make a woman conceive. Okay, provided she has defective pituitary ovary or hypothalamus. So this is a treatment for infertility, but risk there may be chance of twin or maybe three baby, four baby, maybe eight baby that may happen due to the action of this drug and lot of ovulation, lot of ovum. And that's all about the selective estrogen receptor modulator SCRM. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel and please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.